Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from TechFans. Yes. In this quick video, we are going to see how to install Android 11 GSIs on Asus Zenfone Lite L1, Live L1, and L2. Before going into actual procedure, I want to let you know that the current Android 11 GSIs are not stable and usable for daily usage. I faced some serious problems while using it, so don't install it if you are using it as your primary device or holding any important data. It will give a random reboot or it will be a boot loop or sometimes you can't even share your data. So warning board. First we need a Pi vendor, so you need to be in Pi Beta. I already made a video on how to install Pi Beta on Lite L1, Live L1 and Live L2. You can watch it by clicking the I button which appears right now. Once you are in Pi Beta, you need a GSI. Here I am going to install PHS latest AOSP 11 version 300.m. As we are using Pi vendors, we need to always flash the ARM64AB. As it is in Android 11, we are specifically choosing VNDK Lite versions with or without G apps. I always recommend you to use the with G apps versions as currently we don't have much stable G apps packages. We have multiple options like Havoc OS, CAOS, Desident 11, Covas OS, and Alpha ROM in the Express Look GSA projects. You have much. The one which I found little bit stable is Havoc OS, but I am not recommending it. I am not recommending any Android 11 GSIs as of now. Please wait until I let you know when day to day users can try. First, you need system image, which is here AOSP 11 from PHS, and then you need some patches or goodies. They are already in the drive. I have uploaded it. These are already used in the Android 10 GSIs or, or Oxygen OS installations. One, decrypt by second permissive version 5 third boot loop fix this is not important but it will make the system partition readable so yeah for latest recovery in here i am using orange fox recovery i posted the link in the description which you can watch and install that's all you need to install once you have it just reboot to recovery Once you are in there, go to manage and format the data and type yes. It is formatted. So yeah, we'll go to wipe and wipe system, Dalvik data and cache. Don't wipe the vendor or SD card. Once it is wiped, go to install and install the decrypt pi patch. Here I am installing it before and after just to make sure it's decrypted. Now I will install AOSP image as a system image. It takes some time so please be patient.
once it's installed just install the decrypt pi and permission version 5 and finally boot loop fix patch Once all installed, reboot to system. If it shows no OS found, just reboot to recovery and then reboot to system. As you can see it's showing android boot animations so we have installed it correctly After a few minutes, we have our IOSP Android 11 PHS running in Asus Zenfone Lite L1 or Live L1 or Live L2. Here in my case, it's Lite L1. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not recommending you to install Android 11. If you are a tester or you know how to revert the things back, you can definitely check it out. I'm continuously checking for problems and solutions. We'll see them in the full review. The one major issue which I can show here is once it's booted, if I re if you reboot means it will be a boot loop. I found this problem also we have the old T working in build PHS added the option to enable the IMS by default usually the outgoing call won't work in the first boot once you enable the IMS in the PHS setting and reboot it will be working that's what about this video leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel to support and encourage this work if you have any queries and concerns feel free to follow our Instagram page and the our new tech fans yes, community in telegram all the links are down you can check them out thank you for watching Put me to.